past, I would say that, yeah, I used to really enjoy life. Um, I was the sort of person who would be get, getting out of bed and was up and running, a morning type person. But um, I've um, lived through a period of darkness and I'm still coming out of the tunnel. My wife was a teacher um, and was well loved. She could laugh so much she used to end up crying for the pleasure and enjoyment of a situation. It's difficult to put your finger on all the things that you enjoy with somebody. I discovered what the power of the mind can do during my grieving in the fact that my pain was intense. I had the classic mock heart attack with shooting pains in my arm and chest. Um, and yet at the same time, I was oblivious to pain. And during that bleak period of time, I just suffered what so many others suffer from a sudden death, um, which is, um, extreme anxiety, isolation. In my darkest times, I just simply, early in my bereavement, I just simply tried to live from day to day. I think we're enriched by a wide circle of friends. We're enriched um, with discussion, company. Uh, I really appreciate sitting down, eating and drinking with people. It's, it's a wonderful thing. It's, it's the richness of life. We had a night in Kenya once. Lanterns were glowing. And Quentin told me that the answer to every problem you'll ever get in your life is being able to breathe correctly. Mm -hmm. And I remember you saying that. You said if you go for any stressful moments in your life, learn to breathe properly. Yeah. It's a, it was an unforgettable two weeks with Quentin. I hadn't met him before I went. And uh, came away a better person for having met the man.